I'm back with that Fender 57 twin, the one with the visibly leaking electrolytics. Before I replace them, I wanted to do some more tests of the current state of the amp. Uh, right now, I've got a simple setup here to measure plate dissipation on the output tubes. There's a single rectifier here, uh, JJ branded 5U4. These, I'm pretty sure, are the original power tubes here. Um, over here, I've got essentially an ammeter in line with each of the cathodes of the power tubes. Uh, and I can also read that current uh, on the DMM for a little more accurate view. Uh, I just finished probing around uh, to get the plate voltages and a few others based on test points on the schematic. And I was kind of surprised with the results. Um, in fact, the bias pot, which is over here, is maxed out all the way to the right or clockwise, which should yield maximum power. Um, and if we walk through my results, uh, here's what I've got. So they're specced per the schematic voltage off the bias pot. They've got as negative 50 volts. I have it as negative 47 and change. And again, all the way maxed to the right or clockwise. Uh, the spec voltage on the first cap before the choke 460, I've got 435. Next cap, they've got 460 again, and I've got 430, so five volts roughly dropped. And then across the two power tubes, this is the one just behind this clipboard that's further to the right, or V5 on the diagram. They've got it spec'd at 455 volts DC, I've got 428 and a half. And the second power tube, V6 on the left behind this uh, diagram. So this guy. That comes in at 428 and a half as well. So that matches. 428 and a half, 428 and a half. Here's where it gets interesting. The current running through V5, the rightmost tube, I get at 33.7 milliamps. The other tube, 25.1 milliamps, so that's a fair difference. And if you calculate the plate dissipation by multiplying the voltage by the current for each tube, I get 14 almost and a half watts out of V5 and 10 and three quarters watts out of V6. And that's kind of interesting because in this kind of an amp, you would expect to be somewhere in this 60% to 70% of max plate dissipation. So for a 6L6GC, 100% plate dissipation is 30 watts, 70% is 21 watts, 60 is 18 watts, 50% is 15 watts. So essentially, this V5 rightmost tube is barely at 50%. And the other tube is well below. And again, that's with the bias pot maxed out fully, uh, fully clockwise down here. So now what I'm gonna do next is pull the rectifier, the single rectifier that I've got here, put in a pair of rectifiers. And I'm pretty sure they'll be the ones that came original with this amp, at least the way I received it. And I'm curious to see if two rectifiers will have any impact or not on these voltages and ultimately the plate dissipation on these tubes.